Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Wednesday, the 1st of September 2021, and we're producing our gold and silver morning update and price forecast. Gold prices are holding steady, but alas, silver has fallen below $24 again. Not good news unless you are accumulating more. So let's take a look. Welcome to Illuminati Silver. It's Wednesday, the 1st of September, 2021, the beginning of a new month. It's 10.03 a.m. GMT plus one. The weather today, nondescript. Neither dull nor bright, cold nor warm. Appetizing nor deterring. Wow. There's some appetizing news and some deterring news today. Looking at Bloomberg, we can see. Headline, European stocks rise as investors keep faith in economic rebound. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. However, this is worth looking at first. Europe's factory backlog hits record on global supply squeeze. And we touched briefly on this in terms of other countries within Europe yesterday. European factories saw unfilled orders rise to an unprecedented level in August as companies struggle to meet demand amid widespread bottlenecks in the global supply chain. There were clear signs of strong capacity constraints, according to an IHS market survey of purchasing managers which showed the shortfall of manufacturing production relative to orders surpassing a 24-year record seen in July. While the euro area economy is rebounding from coronavirus lockdowns, shortages of parts and raw materials and a lack of shipping capacity are proving more stubborn than initially expected, threatening to delay the recovery. And this is why the issue also risks fueling inflation, which is already running at a 10-year high of 3% due to energy and a range of special factors. Of course, if they cannot produce enough to meet the demand, prices go up. UK house price surge in August despite ending of tax cut. What's this? UK house prices rebounded strongly in August, suggesting underlying demand and a shortage of homes for sale are underpinning the market as a tax break on purchases is withdrawn. The 2.1% increase, the second largest gain in 15 years, followed a 0.6% decline in July, when the tapering of a year-long stamp duty holiday landed buyers of more expensive homes with a significant tax bill. The annual pace of growth accelerated to 11% from 10.5%, the figures from Nationwide Building Society show. Now we've had a few slightly differing reports on house prices, some saying that those at the very top end have cooled off and have started to fall, and others which are now saying that the mean average house price is rising and demand for houses increasing. Not surprising, because during the lockdowns, people were not putting their houses up for sale. Something we wanted to draw your attention to, which is quite interesting, particularly in view of the United States' reaction to China and the rest of the world's reaction to China, for that matter. China hedge funds pay $300,000 to beat Wall Street to best graduates. Now, if ever you thought that China is aiming to become the world superpower. There are numerous examples, numerous, in the investment world where they're buying up American companies and properties and worldwide companies and properties. In terms of production, they're dominating the world in m many, many areas, electronics being a key one. And now look what they're doing even on the financial services side. When computing major Garen Chow deferred his studies in the United States because of the pandemic, he applied for internships at China's biggest internet companies. 
In the end, the Peking University graduate chose Ubiquant, a local hedge fund managing $8 billion of assets, which is offering top college leavers annual salaries of as much as $300,000. After a year, Chow became a permanent employee, giving up his enrolment at John Hopkins University. The benefits of staying in this job far outweigh those of studying in the US, both in terms of knowledge and financial return, said 23-year-old Chow. For elite students in artificial intelligence and computer science, companies like Ubiquant offers triple the $100,000 sticker price for freshly minted college graduates on Wall Street, illustrating a shift in global financial hiring driven by the pandemic and rising emerging market wealth. Rather than aspire to an education in the United States that often leads to opportunities at global companies or even staying in America, some of the nation's best and brightest are choosing to stay at home. And you can see why a number of years ago Jim Rogers said, when he was, I think he moved to Singapore, he's teaching his children, or grandchildren rather, Mandarin. This is another encroachment on world supremacy. Small, but one of a number. Business news, according to the BBC. Shortages force Jojo Mama and Baby to hike prices. This is a baby goods retailer. KPMG, which is an accounting firm, accused of giving false and misleading information to the regulator. Should we be surprised? And Vauxhall Motors warns chip shortage to last months. United States. Biden again. The Afghan crisis is the key. And interesting, here on the financial side, left-wing Democrats want Fed chief replaced. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and other progressives criticise the central bank chief's record on climate change. Well, has the dollar changed? Yes, it's up 0.04 at 92.66. No great shakes there, really. Oil price is very marginally up 33 cents and 37 for WTI crude and Brent crude respectively. US stocks yesterday broadly down more or less 0.1%. Asia overnight broadly up 1%. And in Europe, Middle East and Africa, including the UK, broadly up 1%. Economic news announced in the last couple of days. Pending home sales, we mentioned this yesterday, were down 1.8% on Monday against expectations of being up 05 Now, yesterday we had the Schiller, Case Schiller National Home Price Index, which shows that prices rose, or the index rose to 18.6% in June compared to 168 previously. That's year over year. These are quite important, showing you that perhaps the recovery is not quite as strong as many thought. Chicago PMI 66.8 against previous month of 73.4 and expectations of 69.4. And again for August, the Consumer Confidence Index is down at 113.8 compared with expectations of 123.1. Now we have an important array of data today. ADP Employment Report, Market Manufacturing and ISM Manufacturing motor vehicle sales and construction spending. This ADP report is normally, not always, and it's proven the other month that it's totally wrong in, in comparison, gives an indication of what we might expect on the non-farm payrolls on Friday. Generally speaking, but not always, strong report means a strong one on Friday. A weak report means a weak one on Friday. That's the majority of the time, but not all of the time. So let's now take a look at precious metal prices. And we can see the gold is down over the last 24 hours by $4 at 1811 but still holding well above that important $1,800 level. So if we compare the price with how it closed on Friday or technically opened on Monday, it was standing at 1818 So it is $7 down on the week so far, but still holding that key level. However, silver not faring quite so well. Down 34 cents over the last 24 hours 
at 23.84, breaking now down below that $24 level. On the week, it's close. It closed on Friday 24.03. We said that was pivotal. It's now lower by some 19 cents. Cryptocurrencies. Broadly down 2.26% over the last 24 hours, but we've still got a market cap in excess of $2 trillion. Bitcoin down marginally at 47,000. That's it for now. Please, if you like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up subscribe, press the bell sign. A lot more to come towards the end of the week in terms of data and important information that could and probably will affect markets. Really disappointing that silver has fallen back. Part of the reason, and we keep reiterating this, if the economy's growth seems to be slowing down, whilst gold and silver will benefit from the fact that a slowdown in the economy will mean a interest rate rises not occurring, bond buying, pairing, not coming in perhaps as quickly as many would su suggest or suspect. And thirdly, less likelihood that there will be further restrictions on stimulus and a more likelihood there'd be more stimulus potentially, all that acting as good positive tailwinds for gold and silver, but for silver particularly, slow down in the economy means the industrial demand for silver, which represents at any one time between 50 and 60% of silver demand, will be curtailed. And that is why we are seeing that disparity, to a large extent, between gold and silver prices. Thank you. Until next time. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners. Music